Hello, my beautiful friends. It is Nikki and Merlin, your group founders. And we are live on the very first Nikki day and Merlin of Christmas, just checking that we're live. And how are you all? <laughs> um, this is the first day of 12 days of Christmas. I've written us a Christmas song just um, from our dogs to us. And each day we're gonna do a live on the group to help you all have the best Christmas with your dogs, um, to give you some tips and tricks and games and some behavior advice. And um, yeah, there'll be some singing. I think you might've heard Merlin and I already singing our song. Um, and I've also asked our group trainers to come on and join me. So you'll be seeing some live videos from um, my fellow behaviorist Lois and from Anita from Fun Staffy Dog Training. Lois is from Yanni's Friends, from Vicky, from Paws on Board, from Kirsty, from Kirsty's Paws, all of our beautiful um, Dorset uh, trainers and online trainers. Um, so look out for their videos too. And so today's topic is the chewed up Christmas tree. Have you put your Christmas trees up? Please uh, show, pop a comment, tell us who's got your Christmas tree up and do share your pictures on the group and how is your dog reacting to it? So I haven't got a Christmas tree this year. I've got something which I think is a bit better than a Christmas tree. This is the reveal. This is going to go up on my wall and it's going to be my kind of Christmas tree. Um, but yeah, I haven't not put one up because of Merlin. <laughs> He's good, touch wood, around trees. Um, but I do always get, whenever my dogs are puppies, I get them involved in the Christmas tree. Um, and I think, you know, the best thing to do is to even to take them to go and buy the Christmas tree. Um, there are dog friendly places that allow dogs. Um, I'll tell you about them in a second um, and get them involved in the whole process. So they know what's coming into the house. They come in with it. Don't decorate it immediately. Allow them to get used to it. Um, and then you can also train them around the tree to leave it and to be more interested in, in you. Um, but also on our group, we've had lots of tips of what to do. So let me just share the screen because I love it when fellow mums and dads um, are able to share their stories. So here's our group, Dog Friendly Dorset, and there's this great thing, do you know about this, where you can search in the group for any topic and find out what we've all been saying about it. So let's do Christmas tree. And there was a great, oh here, you can buy your Christmas tree, Sammy and Tillis' Tesla, went to buy their Christmas tree from St. Catherine's Hill. Where is that from? 70 The Grove. So that's dog friendly. You can take your dog along. So Tess went along to buy the Christmas tree. And yeah, there was a great post. Oh, here we go. There's another one. Cranbourne Christmas Tree Farm. So Sabine has said that she took Stormer there for her first Christmas buying a Christmas tree. So I love it. Share your stories with us. And then this is a great <clears throat> post from Lizzie just asking for some help with her six month old around the tree. And yeah, some people are like, go without, <laughs> go without a tree and decorations. Um, place it on a table, like a three foot table or a higher table so that it's out of their eye line is a good idea. Um, putting like a pen around it, of course, or not allowing them in that room. These are all kind of avoidance things of helping um, your dog around the tree. What else is there? Oh, I love this one. An upside down tree hanging from the ceiling. Brilliant. I mean, I just get that for comedy value. Um, and yeah, put it on the table. Oh, this puppy is doing very well around the Christmas tree. And I think has got their own Christmas bauble. So you can also go to pet store and get something that they are allowed to have that would be great so it's like that's what I used to do actually my dog wasn't the Christmas tree it was actually my Winnie the Pooh toys cuddly toys that he wanted this is my last dog Milo and so I got him his own Winnie the Pooh toy and when he wanted to have mine then I would go like you can have this one this one's mummy's and this one is Milo's um 
and we had a fur my pup was only four months first Christmas we had a furry tree skirt that became his new bed Ah, oh, he would lay there and bat the balls and never damage anything our kittens were another story yeah that's funny okay so here's an example of on the table yeah I love you guys this is brilliant um we put sacrificial balls at the bottom of the tree <laughs> and training leave it yeah very good idea um and then anything else um yeah giving them you know chewies and things that they enrichment toys is a really good idea from in terms of behavior because if we well I'll, I'll get onto the behavior in a minute um also at the end of this video if you're still watching oh is there anyone there I haven't said hello to you guys if you're still watching at the end I'm going to um put a challenge for us all so oh there is some say hi say hi in the comments so I can say hi back um and yeah putting a puppy pen then there was also a really lovely post let's find it where someone had the idea of putting here we go Simon and Tina Martin you put bells look here's like that's brilliant. So then the bells, if the pup or the dog goes close, the bell, you know, they get hold of the bells and it alerts you so you can come and see what they're up to before it's too late. I mean, anchoring in the tree is also an obvious kind of one to do and maybe not having decorations on that bottom row of the tree. But yeah, let's come on to behavior. I'm going to stop the share. So when we think of as a behaviorist for the group, I always want us to explore and investigate why is your dog doing this in the first place? Is there something that we can help them with? So what's the unmet need for the behavior? Um, and often it's boredom. So it's like, I'm bored and this is a brand new thing and it's shiny. And, <laughs> and also I can get your attention because whenever I go towards it, you're in uproar and that gives me the attention that actually I'm desiring because I'm bored and I've got too much energy maybe as well. Um, so like if we can address that, then we will likely not have an issue. So giving enrichment games, licky mats, Kongs, you can fill Kongs uh, with frozen food and put it in the, um, with food and pop it in the freezer or with your frozen food if you feed raw. Um, give them, enrichment games. Nina Otterson does a great range of enrichment games and toys and challenges um, and do some training with them. So I'm going to leave you guys with a challenge. Um, we're going to speak to food as well, how important food is during Christmas time, because food, if you're feeding um, types of food with a lot of sugar in it, you're going to have hyperactive dogs and it is going to be very difficult for any trainer or behaviorist in the world to help you because at the root of it, you're feeding the wrong food, but that will be for another day of Christmas. I'll talk about the food. Um, so yes, this is gonna be your challenge. So in terms of your relationship with your dog, you should be, should be the most important thing to them um, and the most exciting thing rather than the tree. So um, from Spirit Dog, I'm going to borrow this uh, challenge for all of us which is to put some very lovely treat down, get your dog to wait, and then go away, run away with more treats in your hand and see whether you can get them to come to you with the treats rather than take that treat. And I'd love to see any videos of this because um, yeah, this is your challenge. How are you going to do this? I get, kind of gave a clue away in it. Um, so yeah, like a piece of ham or something on the floor, but you have more treats um, maybe you've got steak or maybe you've got lots more ham in your hands and you the idea is that you need to get them more interested in you and then they get lots more reward if they come to you and leave the other item behind so that would be a good one in terms of teaching to leave it and but they get a lot of reward doing that um, so I hope you found this helpful lots of love to you this is just day one look out for Merlin and I singing the 12 days of Christmas look out for our other beautiful trainers on the group who are offering their time please support them back as well and I hope this is helpful and I will see you all soon Mwah! bye everyone bye from Merlin where are you somewhere are you on the couch oh yeah he's gone he's gone sleeping bye